Hey guys, what's up? I've been living in Changu in Bali for two weeks now. And in the past two weeks, I've been testing a couple of co-working spaces. I want to sign up to one of these co-working spaces because it's sometimes nice to work from your guest house, but it's not always very comfortable. And it's actually really nice to go to a co-working space because you meet other, other digital nomads, you can get a really good coffee and you uh, usually have better Wi-Fi. So I went to 11 co-working spaces here in Changu, in Berava and Peredenan, and I took a couple of clips to show you how it looks like in those co-working spaces. And in the video, I include some information on the opening times, the prices, and of course the facilities that they offer. So join me on my tour through these 11 co-working spaces in the area of Changu. And by the end of the video, I will share with you which ones I like most. And I would love to hear your opinion on those co-working spaces in the comment section. And let me know which one you like most. So let's go. Number one on the list, Matra co-working and co-living. Let's go and check it out. one on the list is called tribal co-working it's actually a cafe a pool area co-working space and soon to be co-living let's go and check it out
I just arrived at Bohem Cafe, restaurant and co-working space. And it's actually part of the Shore Amora Changu Hotel. And it's a free co-working space. So let's go and check it out. I just arrived at Lashi co-working space. It's a free co-working space, which is part of the Lashi hostel. Let's go and check it out.
Next one on the list is Tropical Nomad Coworking Space Bali. Let's go and check it out. On to the next one. This one is called Dojo Bali Coworking. So let's go and check it out.
I just arrived at B work, so let's go and check it out.
I just arrived at Genesis Creative Studios and Coworking. So let's go and check it out. Another day, another co-working space. I'm here at Outpost, so let's go and check it out.
just arrived at Kinship co-working space and it looks really cool. The uh, graffiti outside is impressive. And a friend recommended this co-working space to me and said it's for creative people. So I'm really excited to check this one out. So let's go. So now it's time for me to share with you what, which co-working space I like most. Let's start with the free options first. First, Tribal and Bohem, which are cafes and restaurants. And it's really nice to work from there. They have amazing pools and good Wi-Fi. So if you don't have a lot of meetings and you don't have to take a lot of calls, these two co-working spaces are really cool and they are for free. And then we have Lushy Hostel. I think Lushy is also nice because it's for free. And they have a dedicated room for, for working. Uh, so you can meet a lot of people staying in the hostel and connect with other people that are working from there, which is also really nice. So thanks for Lushy for offering that space for free. And then we get to uh, the traditional uh, co-working spaces, I would say, uh, which are Dojo, Outpost, Matra and B-Work. These are traditional co-working spaces with a large, large space, lots of facilities, and they have a really strong community. So if you are looking for other digital nomads and you want to join events, uh, these four co-working spaces uh, will be suitable for you. I personally really like the creative ones like Genesis Creative Studios and Kinship because they offer a photo studio and creative Genesis. A Genesis Creative offers a video studio and a podcast studio. So if you are a creative person, these two co-working spaces might be suitable for you. And last but not least, we have Puko Rooftop, which has an amazing rooftop 
view over the rice fields and a really nice vibe. I actually really liked working from Puko rooftop. So my choice at the end will fall on two co-working spaces. The first one will be Puko rooftop. I think I will buy 50 hours for Puko rooftop because I really like working from there and it's really affordable compared to the others. And the second one I really loved is Kinship Studio because the vibe was amazing. It attracts creative people and I loved the high ceiling of the, bu uh, of the building and the coffee actually. So I hope this video also helps you decide which co-working space uh, suits you best if you are in Bali or if you decide to come to Bali. And let me know in the comment section which co-working space you like best. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.